Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a different video that I haven't done, I don't think ever on my channel. I get a lot of requests to shop my stash, talk about older products, um, just staple products, favorites, what I recommend. That's not first impression, that's not new. So today we're gonna go over products that are not new or shop my stash kind of products that still wow me. Staples that are not new. They haven't come out a few months ago. These are like a year old, two, three years old. Products that I swear by. I know they're gonna work for me. I reach for them constantly. Staple products, if that makes sense. I am collaborating with my friend Cheryl for this video, which makes it even more exciting. We've had this idea for a few weeks now, and I was like, you know what, let's do this together. So if you don't know Makeup by Cheryl, she is probably my best friend here on YouTube. Uh, we talk every day, and we both love the same type of products as well, so I'm always kind of like influencing her, like buy this, buy that, and she's telling me what to buy. Uh, we're comparing kind of products like in PR you know I'm like did you get that new foundation do you love it and she's like oh god it was terrible and I'm like oh my god I thought the same thing we just have the same taste she's a sweetheart she has two adorable little kids and I just feel like if we lived closer we would just be like hanging out all the time so I'm usually kind of not a girl's girl but Cheryl's my type of girl she's mature she's beautiful she's talented but she's also funny and quirky and we laugh a lot so anyways her channel does a lot of Sephora hauls first impressions reviews. She does really good in-depth reviews with like wear tests and things like that. So I'm going to link her down below. She is an amazing person. Definitely go check her out and follow her. If you love beauty, you're going to love her channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into products that are not new, but they still wow me. So the first product is something that I wear on the daily. If you were to ask me my go-to primer for pores, texture, longevity, I'm going to go with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I actually went through a entire jar of this. This is my second one. I purchased this myself and then since then Tarte has sent me I think they have like a limited edition packaging. Now I have heard that the limited edition packaging has a different formula. I have not compared ingredients, but this is the regular packaging. You can see I have gone ham in this. This is a targeted pore primer. I would not like take a huge chunk and slather this all over. I really just focus it right here where I do have pores. If you have smile lines, anything like that. And I can say that this plays beautifully with makeup. It doesn't pill up, it doesn't look heavy, and it does its job. It smooths pores, of course, I'm human, I have pores, and nothing's gonna erase them, but this is about as close as it's gonna get. This is not a new product, it's a staple though, something that is always in my top drawer and I'm always reaching for it. So I had to recommend this and just include this because this has been a staple for a long time for me. So I have one foundation that has been a staple for years for me. I'm wearing it right now. This is my go-to when I don't know what to do, when I have something that I need long wear. I want coverage, smooth, long wear, locked in, and I have to go back to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a bangin' foundation. It is so good. It lasts all day, better than any foundation I've ever tried. This is the most long-lasting foundation I have ever tried. If I was gonna get remarried, even though I'm already married, but I'm just saying, if my wedding was coming up, I would go for this. You don't need a setting spray, you don't need powder to lock it down, which I do lock it down with powder, but I'm just saying this is like spackle for the skin. Would I wear this every day? Probably not, it's a little bit intense. It can be hard to remove, but it has a good medium buildable to full coverage. It's beautiful, it's matte on the skin, so if you like dewy, this is not gonna be it. This is really for the oily skin people combo, or if you want long, long wear. So I apply this, I tend to use kind of like hydrating primers, dewy primers, and then I can also use a dewy setting spray just to kind of bring life back, but I really, when I think of like standout, like top 10 products, products that have just continually wowed me, this is one of them. I cannot be without this. I have two powders to talk about. The first one is a pressed powder. Now I will say recently there's been some really great pressed powders coming out. The Makeup Forever Velvet one, and then another staple is the Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't want to be repetitive because a lot of these products you've seen me use, and it's kind of like, okay, what have I not given enough love to that I do reach for all the time? One that I love that's drugstore priced, this is the Aquasurance Compact Foundation from J-Cat Beauty. So this is the shade Ivory. I have hit pan on this. When I hit pan on a powder, you know. So here's what I'm looking for in powders. I'm looking for coverage, specifically 
in um, pressed powders, I think about my favorites, they have coverage, right? So the Makeup Forever, this one, um, also the Charlotte Tilbury, they have a little bit of coverage, a creamy feel. I'm looking for smooth. I don't want anything that's going to enhance my texture, look heavy, add a dry, dusty look, and this does not do that. I'm assuming the Aqua Assurance, the Aqua meaning it's hydrating, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. Very close. I wouldn't say they're perfect dupes, but very close if you were looking for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I thought about mentioning that because it's an amazing product. I've gone through multiples. This is basically the sister, a more affordable option. This has great coverage. You can use this alone as well. Very similar like to the Makeup Forever one. I tend to use these over my foundation. So for me, if I have any patchiness, maybe the foundation was like a light medium coverage. Maybe my concealer didn't give me enough coverage. can get this at Ulta. I feel like a lot of people maybe don't know about it because it just became available at Ulta recently, but if you were um, just wanting a powder that you can touch up with, you can set your under eyes with, you can set your entire face with, this is a beautiful smoothing, hydrating powder. I cannot be without this. Now in terms of a loose powder, I have to be honest, there are so many great loose powders. I was like thinking to myself, how many really stand out? But I'm gonna talk about one that I haven't given any love to that is top drawer. And I just recently got back into it and I was like, why did I stop using that? This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. So this came out with their peach collection. Everybody went bananas over. That was a couple years ago. This is a very smoothing powder. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for poreless, uh, get rid of my fine lines. Just don't add texture. I want you to help my texture, right? That's what I look for in these powders. Very similar option, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. That's what I'm looking for. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I will say that the Born This Way is also a great option, but this one I find even more blurring, lightweight. I'm wearing, again, this product today. I'm wearing a lot of the products. I will link what I'm wearing down below, but the only thing I don't like about this is the scent. So same thing with the Huda. They have a fragrance. Of course, this is the Peach Perfect Powder. It doesn't bother me that much, but if you are sensitive to fragrance, keep an eye out on this. Maybe try the Born This Way, but this is a phenomenal powder. It locks your makeup down, gives you that just airbrushed, flawless look. I cannot live without this. When I was thinking about OG products that just have stuck with me for so long, that really wowed me, that I really don't want to have out of my collection, I had to talk about this. This is the original Omega Bronzer from Marc Jacobs, and Tantastic. Now there is a new one, or a relatively new one, that I purchased and I did not like it as much. The formula just didn't seem the same. The color wasn't as good. So this is the original 104 Tantastic. This has been used and abused. Probably one of the few bronzers that I will ever hit pan on. It is just a beautiful bronzer. It kind of has, I want to say benefit hula vibes in the sense that it's not too warm. You can use it to contour if you'd like or to bronze. It's matte. It has no shimmer. If you have texture, you will love this. It's not powdery at all. You really kind of have to work your brush in and build this up. Perfect for beginners or just anyone that loves bronzer. Huge, compact. I know it's pricey, but honest to God, I use this so much. It's just a go-to. You just know it's going to blend well. You know it's going to give you, you know, a little bit of, I don't know, dimension on the face without being too warm, with no glitter, no sheen that's going to give you texture. This is a staple product. It's an OG product. Highly recommend this. Now, you'll know I couldn't go on without talking about blush because blush is one of my favorite products in my makeup routine. I feel like it just brings me to life and I continually am wowed by the Sephora collection matte duo blushes. I think there's five or six colorways. I have four here. I will tell you about my favorite ones, but first of all, the Sephora collection has some really hidden gems. Now these are more affordable. I wanna say $14, possibly 16. So you get two colors in each little compact, matte, matte, matte. Okay, very similar to the Marc Jacobs in the formula. Not very powdery, nice and thin formula, not gonna enhance your texture, but gonna give you a really pigmented flush. So this is Sweet Pea. Uh, this is one of my most used, and I will say probably my favorite that I get the most compliments on, which you're probably like, what the hell? But this is Snapdragon. I'm telling you, these are gorgeous, okay? They give you that beautiful pop on your cheeks. They also have some more kind of peachy tones. I'm more of a pink tone kind of girl, but they have this one called Peach Blossom. I really do prefer the kind of lighter shade on here because again, it has that like corally peach. You guys, 
I'm telling you, if you haven't tried these, they are so beautiful, so easy to work with. You don't need to, you know, swirl your brush in heavily. You just dip in and it just gives you the color that you're looking for. I am wearing Tiger Lily today just because I have kind of like an orange eyeshadow look on. I thought I would go in with this one. So I could not not give these some love because I, I see nobody talking about them. And I'm telling you, these are amazing products. When I was going through my collection, I was really looking at so many highlighters. There's so many great highlighters. A lot of my favorites are discontinued and I'm like, why? Like the Omrizi ABH is a great one. Again, it's like, why don't they bring that back? Who knows? But I love the Dior Backstage uh, Face Palette. I've talked about it so many times. And also the Melt uh, Digital Dust Highlighters are incredible. So I wanted to give a spotlight to this product that I pulled out a couple months ago and I started using it again and fell in love with the formula all over again. This is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo. I have the shade here, Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. This was one of the first products that she ever released. And I'm telling you, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. She has since come out with a lot of different, um, just highlighter uh, colors. Like I know Trophy Wife was a huge craze. It's a little bit deep for me. I have to be in the mood to wear that. But this is just a nice, light, wet looking highlight. It's very light, so I would say probably medium skin tone, light skin tone, fair, would um, just do best with this. Every time I put this on, I feel beautiful. It looks nice, it doesn't enhance texture, there's no glitter particles falling all over. You can use it dry or wet. It's an interesting formula because it's not like the Dior or the uh, Melt or the Omrizi where it's kind of that baked formula. This is truly like a powder, but it's almost like a cream to powder. There's no powder kick up in the pan, and it really is one of those that you buff in and it kind of comes alive. Kind of similar to like NARS, I would say, but a little bit more amped up. So I really love this, wanted to feature it because I've had it for so long and I pulled it out and I was like, why have I put this away? This is a great product. So next I had to feature this product because I was in love with it from the beginning and I still continue to love this product. I just love the packaging, the feel, and what it does for my makeup. This is the Farce Solly Rose Gold Skin Mist. So you can see I'm a little bit over halfway done. This is a beautiful, beautiful hydrating skin mist. What I love about it is it actually gives you a dew. So I applied it on my forehead. Keep in mind I have the double wear on, which is super matte. This actually gives you a glow without feeling sticky, without irritating. The spritzer on it is nice. It doesn't leave droplets, and I love this product. This has been a favorite of mine for so long. I have a backup in my drawer, and I usually don't have backups of products because I have so much stuff, but this is something I continually reach for. It smells kind of like grape, and I think it's not offensive. It's not too strong. It doesn't smell florally where it's like irritating or headache-inducing. It's a beautiful product. I love the packaging. I just love everything about this. This is something that I need to keep in my collection. So next up I have a brush to mention actually and I have multiples of these. I used it today. These constantly are top drawer, constantly washing them. I use them for my body and also to apply my foundation. And this is the Tarte Bamboo Foundation Brush. These are phenomenal. I've never had one, you know, fall apart or shed. This is so nice if you're in a hurry, you wanna get your foundation done and you wanna be out the door. So I currently have one on my desk that has kind of like body makeup on it, like the Vita Liberata Body Blur with some ColourPop kind of glowy products. And then I also have this one that I use for my foundation. And then I think I have another one. I love these. There's never gonna be too much of these. This is truly just a workhorse product. It just can literally be used for self-tan, your foundation, powder, body makeup, everything. It's just big enough that you can kind of just go. It's quick uh, when I'm in a hurry and I just don't wanna wet a beauty blender or whatever. This is what I used. I used it today on my foundation. It blends everything beautifully. I really wanted to mention it because it's something that I use all the time. I mean, obviously multiples. It's always in my top drawer or sitting over here with my body makeup and it's not something that I use on camera, but I would highly recommend this. This is one of my favorite brushes. So next up, I had to mention these lipsticks. I'm wearing one right now. This is probably my most used lipstick formula and colors. These are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The packaging is just stunning. I've gone through a couple of these uh, in Nude Kate, you can see, I mean, for me to go this much into a lipstick is a little bit crazy because I have so many lipsticks. This is just the perfect nude shade. It's so creamy, so pigmented, and they just wear well. You don't get a line, they're not uncomfortable, they don't have an offensive smell. I'm wearing right now Penelope Pink, which is probably my second favorite. You can see I've done some work on that as well. These are perfect for your purse. I tend to keep these in my purse. If I'm going to a wedding, I'll wear a liquid lipstick 
lipstick for long wear and then I'll just use these to keep topping up. I just love the formula. You can layer them. You can put gloss on them. They just are creamy and pigmented. Now I will say there's a ton of new formulas coming out recently that are wowing me, but these continue to be staple products. I will never get rid of these because the shades, the formula, everything about these is just impeccable and I will never let these go. And my last product that I had to talk about because I've gone through multiples again, it is just continued to wow me, one of my favorite formulas. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin. Now, I love Celebrity Skin. I have all of them, but I'm telling you, Mannequin is the perfect nude. This one actually looks like gross because it's so old. I probably need to re-up it. I don't know what it is about this color. It's just the perfect nude for me. Every time I wear this, people say, what are you wearing? That nude is perfect. It's just gorgeous. It's not peachy, but it's not too cool toned. It's not too light, not too dark. The formula on this is incredible because I can apply it, like I said, apply a lipstick, a gloss, hours later reapply it, and it doesn't crack. It doesn't feel dry. It hangs on. This is top 10, like top 10 lipsticks that always looks good. I never put this on and think like, oh, that looks like shit. It always looks good. This is a phenomenal liquid lipstick, one of my favorites. All right, guys, so that is all of my favorite products that are not new. Of course, I could have gone on and on, but I didn't want to be repetitive. So these are products that really, like, when I thought about it, it just came right to mind. Stuff that is right next to me, top drawer, that I reach for all the time when I'm just getting ready to film most of the time. Because usually when I'm filming, I'm filming the new, you know, people want to see first impressions and they want to see the new products in action. These are the products that I'm using off camera when I'm taking photos or when I'm just filming, like, today or Sephora haul or whatever it is. These are just some of my go-to products that never fail me if I'm going somewhere and I just want my makeup to look nice. I don't want to struggle. These are the ones I'm reaching for. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out Cheryl. She's going to be doing the same thing and I'm curious to see. I feel like in my head I know most of her products or some of her products. I think we're probably going to have some of the same products as well. So don't forget to check her out. I will link it down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.